This is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60 with Sandra. So good to see all of you again today. Thank you so much and welcome to my new subscribers and to my community. Hello again. Thank you for stopping by today. I have been asked so many times how I keep my trim weight. Well, during my lifetime, I've always gone up and down. Maybe the heaviest would be 20 pounds and then a light bulb goes off in my head and I say, hey, wait a minute, you have to really watch it. During COVID, I was thinking an awful lot about life. I wasn't doing as much exercising, of course, as all of us, we were kind of homebound for a while. And I really wanted to get my body back. I wanted to get back to the way that I was when I was in my 20s and 30s. And I came across a book, it's called Whole Body Reset. Now I'm a pescatarian, which means I eat fish, along with vegetables, I don't eat meat or dairy products. And I thought, how am I going to lose this weight? This book really opened up my eyes because it was right down my alley. I don't like dieting. I don't like things where I have to weigh and measure and deprive myself. This diet or this way of eating made so much sense to me. As you know, when we're 20 and up until we're 50, our metabolism is really working great. We have good muscle tone and it's working to really burn off that fat. But by the time we reach 50 or so, even though our metabolism doesn't slow down that much, and honestly, studies say it slows, but it doesn't slow down that much that would make you think, oh, I'm going to get fat now. What happens is we lose about three armfuls of muscle weight. Three armfuls of muscle weight. Now that's a lot of muscle and we keep losing it all the time. And why is that? Because we don't eat enough protein on a regular basis throughout the day. Protein builds muscle, muscle burns fat. It just makes sense, and it makes sense to me that if I'm not burning fat, then I'm not really getting rid of that blood sugar, and that blood sugar and all that stuff is going into belly weight. And that's what happens to us when we reach a certain age. On this particular eating plan, you eat protein but not too much protein. It's not a high protein diet. You eat at least 25 grams that women need of protein, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, most of us, when you think about what you eat, most of us have our heaviest protein intake at dinner, don't we? You know, we have meat or with me, it'd be salmon, something like that. So most of our protein usually is eaten at dinner. So we are not equally distributing that during the day so that our metabolism is not working like a little machine, like a little train going along all day long, helping us to build muscle and burn that fat. They recommend that we eat, as women, at least 25 grams of protein for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner. Therefore, our metabolism is working efficiently all day long long to build muscle and to help us burn our fat. Now, I always thought I had a good, pretty good diet. You know, I have oatmeal or some kind of oat breakfast muesli or something in the morning with berries on it and a cup of coffee. And I'm finding out that that's really not enough protein. So what do I do? They have suggested that you add things to that breakfast like hemp seed that will increase the amount of protein that you're having for breakfast. So if I just make that tiny little bit of adjustment, then I will be getting the protein that I need for, for breakfast. And if you have yogurt, you can add yogurt and, and hemp seeds, uh, and you can even add peanut butter to that, on putting peanut butter on bread, whole wheat bread, and that will bring you up to the amount of protein, 25 grams at least, that you need 
during breakfast. And for lunch, I've always had a, this is my regular thing I do, a smoothie, a protein smoothie. But I've added peanut butter to it. I've added hemp seed to it. I sometimes throw in some of my greens. It's full of fiber, and that's great. So I'm having my protein drink for lunch. And if you want to have a salad with tuna or some type of chicken, sliced chicken, chicken salad, that will be, if you're not a vegetarian, that will bring you up to what you need. And of course, for dinner, you have your regular dinner with the protein that you usually have. So all day long, I am burning protein on a regular basis. And with that, I have added weight-bearing exercises to help build that muscle. Now, I only lift a five-pound hand weights maybe two or three times a week. That's all. My main exercise is walking Sophie. Walking gives me cardio. It helps me build muscle and helps me, therefore, build bones. Because if you have strong muscles, then you'll have strong bones. So that's what I do during the day. I don't go to the gym. I don't have any fancy uh, machine or bike that I ride. Even if, But if you do, that's great. So I, that's what I do as far as my muscle bearing and cardio exercises. And I also do balance exercises. I will stand on my one foot, put my arms out, raise my other foot up and just see how long I can balance myself on one foot. And then I switch foot feet. So balance helps keep you from falling. Strong muscles will help you burn fat and keep your body in shape. This is not a high protein diet. It's not really a diet. It's just changing the way you eat so that you are getting adequate protein all day long instead of that big protein balance at the end of the day, which is not making your metabolism work efficiently all day long. And as you know, you know, diets, when you have a diet, you, you under eat. And when you under eat, your metabolism slows. So it's really counteracting what you're trying to do. Plus, you feel hungry. You feel deprived. So all of a sudden, you're starting to cheat. And that's why usually when people go on diets, they don't work. Now, you can be on the Mediterranean diet, but just adding this simple way of eating and adding these other protein elements to your Mediterranean diet, it will work the same. When you eat this way also by getting the high protein, you're also getting a lot of fiber. Your fiber comes from fruit, from beans, from leafy greens. And leafy greens, by the way, does improve your cognitive function. So we all want to keep our brains working the best that we can. But fiber also helps with inflammation in the body. And when you have inflammation in your body, everything is inflamed. Your brain, your vessels, uh, all your internal organs. So it helps to be able to keep inflation down. And you can do that by adding a lot of the fiber that is in fruit and beans and vegetables and leafy greens to your diet and grains. All of these things really add good fiber to your diet. So you are not only building muscle, your metabolism is evened out and you are lessening the inflammation in your body. And as we age, inflammation really is what takes us down. So if you can eliminate all of these things by just eating differently, and it's, you don't have to buy a lot of expensive foods and different foods and measure and weigh, it's just absolutely, for me, as you know, when I'm older, less is more. So what I can do if it's easy, I'm all for it. I have lost 21 pounds on this way of eating. I am back to just a few pounds over what I used to be when I was in my 20s. I didn't want to lose any more weight because when you get older, if you're too thin, I think you look frail. And I didn't want to look frail. I still wanted to have a little bit of curve to my body. And I have maintained my weight. And I have lots of energy. I feel great, and I know it's because my metabolism is working all day long. I'm not filling my body with things that make me sluggish, like sugar and and things that weigh me down. I'm not eating great big meals at the end of the day, which also can 
make you not digest very well and of course the fiber is really good for helping you digest your food all of these things are so simple and I really think that you've asked me so I'm sharing with you just exactly what I have been doing to keep the weight that I am right now what I also like about this is it's not as there's no punishment with this diet none at all you can go at leisure you can just eat this way and do it as slowly or as quickly as you want to do and there are no strings intact it's just that you have changed and I have changed the way that I look at food and the way that I eat during the day just try it for a week just one week just try to get your adequate 25 to 30 grams of protein each meal and do your walking your exercise for cardio and do the hand weights and even if you just stand up and push yourself against the wall you know just use those arm muscles just see how you feel after a week anyway I hope that answers your question that's exactly how I've lost weight that's how I keep my shape at my age and you can do it too my daughter was so kind she made me a wonderful KDP journal so that I've been able to keep a journal of my weight loss and my weight maintenance and the food that I eat and I also put recipes in there that I can use and refer to so if you're interested in that journal you can also look beneath this video and I will put a link to that journal and I also will put a link to the book Whole Body Reset and I think it will help you since you asked thank you so much for joining me today so happy to see you again love your comments I read every single one of them and as I've said before because Arthur is here and he's takes a little more care than he did before I'm not always able to answer every single comment but please know that I read them every single one of them and, and I sincerely appreciate your support and your sharing in the comments take care and I hope to see you again in my next video share the love and be kind to whomever crosses your path and let's pray for peace